so I want to first thank the Children's Heart Foundation. I mean, they are the ones that really um, brought everything that we have done over the last 14 years to life. So 14 years, let's dial back to 14 <laughs> years ago. And what we were doing at that time was asking a very simple question. We're asking the question whether in, in babies with, with heart failure, especially the babies with single ventricle physiology that require only one ventricle to pump systemically, whether that ventricle can be re, uh, rebuilt, can get a boost, can get rejuvenated with stem cell therapy. We focused on stem cell therapy as a possible therapeutic in order to improve the function of the single ventricle because of the promising initial results from adult patients that receive stem cell therapy. Okay. So that was our basic premise that we were um, trying to answer. And so uh, we hypothesized that, that the little baby's hearts would be more responsive than adult hearts with stem cell therapy. It, it makes a theoretical, you can make a theoretical argument that the younger you are, the more responsive you are to improvements. Um, and so, so that was our, our initial uh, strategy. In order to, to answer any question scientifically, you need money and you need infrastructure and you need someone to believe in you so that you can carry out this work. The Children's Heart Foundation has been that foundation for us to build on that infrastructure that really propelled us to, to answer these questions. And that took us four to five years to answer that question, both with bench work type of studies, as well as preclinical animal models to answer that question. Despite our best efforts, right? We had after four or five years, we had this body of studies. We said, okay, we feel really great. We went to the FDA and they said, no, 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 no. You need to do some more studies. And that uh, took another year. And that, that takes money. That takes a lot of money and effort. And this type of donor to fund that Children's How Foundation was there for us as well as other organizations. But it, it's, it's these foundation grants that helped to spearhead a lot of this work. I was able to, because of the foundation, was able to secure NIH uh, grants over the next subsequent years. In fact, now I presently have four R01s, uh, which is a, uh, a very um, uh, remarkable feat in the sense of, of accomplishing that. Accomplishing that. But it's, I, I think it all stems from the people who, who had faith in me at the beginning or, or bought into that vision of what we're trying to answer. So these are ones in the NIH granting the grants from the NIH are all for the basic science work okay. to answer these questions. So what we've done over the span of the last 14 years is, is that we've done the preclinical studies, we got FDA approval, and then we're ready to start the trial and we recognized we needed money. We went back to the Children's Heart Foundation, which was so generous and understood the importance of our work. And they gave us another grant to spearhead the phase one study. After this study, we realized, which has been performed in the last several months has completed, um, has demonstrated that there is safety and feasibility endpoints that are reached with our therapeutic, which is stem cells. And now we're, uh, now we're in a position to start the phase two study, which will start this summer. I'm just trying to see if I can make uh, the lives of, of these babies, now infants, now moving into teenage years, uh, more fruitful and better outcomes by improving the function of the right ventricle or that single ventricle that these babies have. We're very excited. We won't know the answers for another three to four years, but this has been a, a, great, uh, a great journey for us. If it works out at the end, it's great. We've brought a, a great 
new therapy for, for infants and babies with Kajal heart disease. If it doesn't work out, maybe we'll learn something along the way that will help in indirectly or directly uh, their, their condition. We're hoping we'll get the, uh, the game changer of, uh, um, solution uh, that will help provide uh, new uh, um, uh, and promising outcomes for these babies. At a fundamental level, I think it, it is organizations uh, like yours that is very important in order to bring new therapeutics, new innovative procedures, and new innovative diagnostic studies uh, to congenital heart disease. Children's Heart Foundation is known to fund multiple areas of research in congenital heart disease. The strength is that it provides a, a bolus of, of effort and money to our investigators. And those investigators are then able to answer these questions. And because the Children's Heart Foundation's vision is not to fund one particular type, the impact of this research is vast and will be not just in one facet of congenital heart disease, but globally, when you look at the field of congenital heart disease, the foundation will have impact related to the entire field of congenital heart disease.